So in today's video, we will be making the Legion Mask from the game Dead by Daylight. To make the Legion Mask or Frank's Mask, you will need the following. Pressed cardboard, some bowls, water, masking tape, plastic wrap, Elmer's glue, clay, acrylic paints, sandpaper, paper, a protractor, a face cast, and string. The Legion cosplay costume items are in the description down below. I am starting off by ripping up the pressed cardboard into small tiny shreds. Rip it by hand to get the tiny fibers to stick out. The cardboard is torn up, place it into a bowl, and then this will be the base of the Legion mask. Now you'll need water. Heat the water and pour it over the shredded cardboard. Be careful with the hot water and avoid splashback. Stir up the cardboard and let it soak. I let the cardboard soak in the warm water overnight. While that is soaking, take out your face cast and some clay. Build up the clay on the cast until you get a smooth surface to sculpt the legion mask onto. Now, I wrap some plastic wrap around the entire cast. Then wrap it up with tape. After you have let the cardboard soak, Take out the cardboard and get as much water out as you can. Try to break the cardboard up into smaller pieces. This will make sculpting out the legion mask much more easier on the face cast when that time comes. Then add some craft glue. Slowly add the glue in and mix until you get the consistency of clay. There is not an exact ratio to the mixture, so try your best. When that is finished, set it aside and take out your face cast. Take your cardboard clay and lay it over the face cast. The eyes have been sketched out so I know what areas to avoid so I don't cover them up. Lay down small pieces at a time to avoid too many bumps. Take your time and don't rush this process. Also, comment down below what other cosplay videos you would like to see, Dead by Daylight or not. When it's all laid down, add a coat of glue to the base of the legion mask. Now, let the mask dry. This can take about 5 days. After 5 days, your mask should be dry and ready to peel off. To peel the legion mask off, I cut the plastic in the back with scissors and then pop the other part right off the base cast. Don't pull too hard, you might break the mask. I quickly rub it down with sandpaper and then I trim the edges of the mask. Then I'm adding small strips of the masking tape to the eyes and the edges of the mask. This will make the edges look more smooth. You will need about a million tiny masking tape strips. So now take your paper and tear that up into small pieces. You will need enough to cover the whole mask. Now take one part glue and one part water and mix it up in a bowl. 
Then dip a part of the paper in and lay it down on the legion mask. Repeat until the whole mask is covered. Now, paint the mask white. Using a protractor, I sketch out the eyes of the legion mask. After that is finished, I draw out where the smile will go on Frank's legion mask. Then paint over the lines you just drew. There are many different Legion Mask cosplay and makeup photos if you need an idea of what the mask looks like. Also, you can look at reference photos of the Legion from Dead by Daylight. If you want to see other Legion Mask or other Dead by Daylight cosplay costumes, let me know in the comments down below. For the blood on the Legion Mask, I mix red with a pinch of black paint together to get a darker red color. The Legion has blood on the left side of his smile and the red lines down his eye holes. Also, I add a few blood splatters along the mask and let it all dry. Now I'm adding watered down black around the mask to make it look worn and used. After that, get your black string and tie it into the holes. After you are done with that, the Legion mask is finished. For the Legion cosplay, I have a black jacket and Frank's neck tattoo. You can find the links down below in the description. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the Legion Mask cosplay, make sure to subscribe for more cosplay costumes and makeup videos just like this one. And as always, have a good night.